This video explains how to print a model with Kara Print 4.0 designed with the Kara ScanCAD software 6.4. Make sure the model design file is stored on your computer, for importing it into the CAM software. Open the Kara Print CAM software. Take care, that the firmware is on the latest version. If there is an update available, you will find the information in the settings. Open the print editor. Import your files by clicking on the add icon. Mark all files for printing and open them into the CAM software. Activate the move function above. For a better overview, separate the files by holding the left mouse button pressed and move them on the building platform. To place the model directly on the print platform, rotate the file as needed. You will find the rotate tool, on the left side. Enter the number of degrees by which the model should be rotated. Use, the move, spin and orient function to place the files. If a file is touching the sidewall of the printing platform, it is showing red. Note that everything outside the printing cube will not be printed and is cutted automatically. To optimize the print of the die, place it in the correct position of the model. Then move it parallel, to a position outside the model, without any contact with the other files. By printing without supports, the contact with the building platform is sufficient. When printing directly on the printing platform, it is important that all parts of the model are in contact with the platform. Due to the print with no or minimal support, we have to place the files inside the building platform. Activate the file and change the Z position to a minus value. Note that the minus value is the same for all files. Go to the support function. Choose the kind of support you need and add so many supports as necessary. Because of the big overhang around the pin, it is necessary to support the die. In case of an angulation on the bottom of the pin, no supports are needed. The optimally fitting results can be achieved without supports. With modify, it is possible to move the support. By holding the control button on the keyboard pressed, you can mark all needed supports together and change the details. Activate the add function to add supports. Activate the delete function to delete supports. If you agree with the result, start the slicing process. It is possible to save the STL file before slicing. This process can take some minutes. After slicing, save the file on your computer or directly on the USB pen drive to transfer it to the printer. The output data file is a CPJ file. Before starting the print process, open the view slices to control if there are any red marked areas that need to be supported additionally. Scroll through the slices with the mouse wheel. If everything is supported properly, continue to the printer. Enter the USB pen into the port, in front of the printer and open the USB transfer. Mark your print file and confirm the import with yes. After the import of the CPJ file, go to the library. Activate your file and press continue. Select the print material, in that case the DEMA print model material. Choose the thickness of the print layers you need and continue. Before starting the print, prepare the vat. Control that everything is clean and that there is no dust or material residues especially on the glass. Shake the material for at least 5 minutes before filling it in the vat. Fill the vat up to the maximum line. Take care that the window inside the printer is cleaned and has no dust or material residues on it. Clean it, if necessary. Insert the vat into the printer and take care that the complete green line is visible. 
Make sure the build platform is clean too. Close the door of the printer and start the process. After the print, some details are shown on the screen. Open the door and remove the building platform with the printed objects. Rinse the surface with isopropanol and remove everything from the building platform. Put everything into the first isopropanol bath and start the ultrasonic device for 3 minutes. Afterwards change the objects into the second, clean isopropanol bath and start the ultrasonic device again for 2 minutes. Now, remove the objects out of the isopropanol and dry it with compressed air. Finish the post process in the Highlight Power 3D device for 2 times 180 seconds. Turn the objects around, after the first 180 seconds. Now the complete printing process is finished.